Hi, in this particular video we're going to be combining two things. The first one is we need to show that with this particular shape it works out like that. And then the second thing is we're going to work out the actual value of x and that's using the quadratic formula. So this is very much like the new GCSEs and this is probably around about level 8. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to show that. Um, okay, well it's a compound shape, so what we're really doing is we're saying if we want to work out the area of this, we know or we're given in the question that it's equal to 95 centimetres squared or metres squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 5 and x together because that will then give me the area of this particular small rectangle. And then I'm going to add that to the slightly larger rectangle, which is x multiplied by 2x plus 1. Now I've actually put it in brackets for a very specific purpose, just because it helps me to remember that what I'm actually doing is I'm multiplying these two together. Um, or these two terms together and then adding them into each other. And when I do that, the total is going to be 95. Okay, so if I now start to expand those particular brackets, I've got 5 times x, which is 5x, and then I'm going to add that to x times 2x. Well, that's 2x squared. Okay, so that's 2x squared, and then x times plus 1 is going to be plus x, and all of that equals 95. Pretty much that's what we need to do. It's only a case now of just changing this around a little bit so it looks like that. So if I put the 2x squared at the beginning, that's fine, it looks the same as the, uh, the question. And then I've got 5x plus x, well that's going to be plus 6x. And then rather than having the 95 over here, I'm going to bring it over to this side of the equal sign. So if I minus 95 from both sides, that would be minus 95 on this side. And on the right hand side, 95 minus 95 would equal zero. Okay, and that's really what they're expecting you to write out for these kind of questions. They're usually around about, I guess, two or three marks, something like that. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to work out the value of x. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use something called the quadratic formula. Now, you need to remember this uh, for GCSE. Um, it used to be given on a formula sheet, unfortunately, not now, you're going to have to remember x equals minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, if you're not sure about that, you need to find a way of remembering it because unfortunately for you, you've got to remember it now for the new GCSEs. Okay, so these values of a, b and c are actually, this is a, which is 2, uh, this is b, which is positive 6, and this is c, which is minus 95. So I'm going to plug those into this equation. I do be a little bit careful, particularly with this minus 95 that you've got there. So the first thing is I've got minus b. Well, at the moment, it's 6, so I'm going to make it minus 6, okay? And that's plus or minus the root of. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. And I suggest, again, you use the brackets. So I'm going to put 6 squared, which is the first bit. And then I'm going to minus 4 times a, which is 2. And then be very careful here. It's c, which is minus 95. So what I end up with, actually, is this top end is going to be 6 squared, which is 36. And then minus 4 times positive 2 is minus 8. And then minus 8 times minus 95 is going to be a positive value. And actually, I think it works out 760 because I can just refer to my notes. Yes, it does. OK. And then I'm going to divide all of that by 2 times a, which is going to be 4. All right. So as I mentioned before, I've got minus 6 plus or minus the root of 36, which is 6 squared, plus 760. Okay, let me just check that. Yep, that's 760, and I'm going to divide that through by 4. And actually, that's going to give me two values of x for this particular quadratic equation. 
The first value, if you plug that into a calculator, is going to be where x equals, I'm sorry I had to check this, um, 5.55 and x equals minus 8.55 as well. Okay. I hope my writing's all right. However, it's really important that you appreciate that actually this isn't the value of x because it's a negative value. X can only be a positive value for this particular diagram. Okay, I hope that's been all right for you. Um, if you're not sure about how to use the quadratic formula, please refer to the playlist that I'll add into this particular video. Please do add a comment below. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.